بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى has ordered us with with sincerity and with many beautiful attributes and Allah tabarak wa ta'ala out of his infinite grace and mercy has granted mercy to the believer and one of the most important things that we can do as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is be sincere be sincere in our ibadah be sincere and have ikhlas lillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about those people who came before us, Bani Israel. He said, وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَى لِيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهُ مُخْلِسِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ That they weren't commanded except with worshipping Allah, with sincerity. Hunafa عَلَى الدِّينَ مِلَةَ Ibrahim Hanafiya. So the believer is ordered to be sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's ordered with ikhlas. And ordered with the bat ala sunnah. The sunnah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship. So ikhlas should never be anything, should never be an issue for the believer. But fighting and striving to maintain that ikhlas is what's difficult. But it's well known. Ma'loom min a deen bi It's well known in the deen by necessity that the believer should worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. However, we commit shirk and kufr and zandaka as a ummah, as a nation. Many people, they fall astray with bid'ah. And we ask that Allah, the Almighty, accepts our good and forgives our evil. And blesses us all with ikhlas, with thabat ala sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.